Hello, Team DECA. I'm pleased to speak with you today. As your new director, I'm excited about the tasks ahead and working side by side with a super DECA team to improve the commissary business and the commissary benefit. I can't overstate how important quality of life benefits like commissaries and exchanges are to military members and their families. Our team in the field is the face of the commissary for our customers, and our headquarters provides the backbone for the business. I appreciate your efforts, and I'm committed to working with you to provide a superior customer experience and ensure commissaries remain vital and relevant. As a retired flag officer with over 29 years in the Navy, I've witnessed firsthand the positive impact that commissaries and the entire military resale community can have on people's everyday lives. And as a dedicated commissary shopper myself, I have a real appreciation for the benefit and what you do every day to support it. As your director, it's my responsibility to ensure we, as a team, move the agency forward in a positive and productive direction. At the beginning of every year, I publish a plan to guide our agency's activities as we progress towards the future. I see this guidance as a roadmap for the years ahead. So, as we begin our 2018 journey, be on the lookout for the full director's guidance. It will be available online in the next couple of weeks, followed by hard copy distribution to all of our employees worldwide. In the meantime, I'd like to highlight some of this year's objectives. First and foremost, we should all recognize that the most important factor for our agency's success is focusing our efforts on building foot traffic, building sales, and maintaining patron savings to ensure the continued relevance of the commissary benefit. I'd like to begin by calling your attention to a specific use of the word OUR in this video and the forthcoming guidance. The word OUR is about focusing our team on the involvement ownership and equity in our path forward. My guidance focuses on four strategies that require our attention and best efforts moving forward. And I've organized these around four simple areas, our customers, our workforce, our business, and our culture. With respect to our customers, we'll deliver a premier experience for our customers that will increase transactions by 2% and reverse our declining sales trend by achieving a 98% product availability in our stores, by introducing 500 commissary store brand items, and by competitively pricing impactful image items. We'll also expand our natural and organic product offerings at the top index and commissaries and enhance our communications outreach for these products. We're making all of these improvements to ensure our patrons have a satisfying customer experience and increase our customer service ratings on our annual surveys. While doing all this, it is paramount that we maintain our baseline patron savings. We must always remember our customers serve this great country of ours, and they and their families deserve the best that we have to offer. Second, our workforce. I believe in our workforce. You are the energy that keeps the benefit going. We will empower our people to be capable, engaged, and accountable. We'll accomplish this by focusing our managerial training on operational areas and our business model changes such as departmental training, variable pricing, and the effective use of our enterprise business solution. Implementing improvements to increase our ethics scores. Deploying technology to facilitate our mandatory training and conducting human resource boot camps overseas. Finally, we'll decrease our hiring time for filling positions. Our workforce serves as the foundation for all that we do, and I want you to know that you're appreciated for your efforts. As you're aware, DECA is going through significant changes in the way we conduct our business. As the guidance says, we are making these changes by advancing our business model through the transparent management of resources and revenue. In order to make these improvements, we'll need to develop business processes to support a profit and loss business model by channeling our efforts through category performance improvement to drive lower cost of goods, by implementing variable pricing across the entire stock assortment, by establishing a retail-based accounting system that recognizes revenue and margin generation and ensures our auditability. We'll implement strategies and pursue actions to facilitate best practices and advantages that are inherent to non-appropriated fund instrumentalities. 
Technology-wise, we will continue to replace our legacy IT system with various modules of our enterprise business solution. And we'll enhance convenience and ad capabilities by optimizing our point of sales system called CARTS RM. In order to successfully navigate all of these changes, we must work to improve our culture. We'll foster a culture that emphasizes collaboration and change acceptance. This will happen by consciously focusing on proactive communication. A top culture objective in 2018 is characterized by trust, dignity, inclusion, and respect. In addition, we'll reaffirm our commitment to collaborate with our installation commands, MWR, and other resale partners to achieve efficiencies and increase effectiveness in delivering a valued quality of life benefit. I also believe it's important to increase frequency of interactions with our military and veteran support organizations to improve communications and promote advocacy for the benefit. In emphasizing communication, we will leverage our web-based internal media channels to foster increased employee engagement and awareness. Lastly, we will strengthen our corporate brand by standardizing our image, messaging, and drive internal consistency. So as you've heard, we have a big year ahead of us, and there's a lot to do to maintain our relevance. Taking all of these steps will renew our commitment to our DECA team and to our shareholders. These actions will also serve as a reminder that our mission will always be to serve those who serve our nation. So in closing, I want you to know that I am proud to be a member of this team, and I believe in each and every one of you and what we're capable of accomplishing together. So here's to a great 2018. Keep on the lookout for my guidance, and most importantly, keep charging.